Hello everybody! Sorry I suck and haven't been posting as often as I'd like. Still late to the punch for some of these upcoming video topics, but they've still been requested for me to cover quite a bit, so here we go boys! This has been my most requested thing to talk about in a hot minute. Z fixes art! So today, let's talk about Z and art fixing. Among the art community, which covers a lot of vast things, there's this concept called art fixing. If you've never heard of it, it's not quite what you'd expect it to be. It's not going back and fixing or redrawing your old art or tweaking your art because you've learned new skills. It's not that you've grown in terms of anatomy or coloring. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> It's when someone has some discrepancy with a piece and takes it upon themselves to quote-unquote fix it. You'll oftentimes see some like obnoxiously curvaceous anime character and then a dark-skinned version where proportions are evened out, less uh, sexual I guess, and made to remove all things about said character that the artist themselves doesn't like. The real cherry on top usually stick a little fixed it somewhere for passerbys to see. This is not to be confused with race bending characters. You can race bend a character or change a little thing in some art of them, but that doesn't necessarily imply that you are art fixing. The whole implication to art fixing is that there's something inherently wrong with the original and that you as the artist fixing it are doing everyone a service by changing it to look like what you think is better. Be it unreasonable breasticle physics, backbreaking poses, or the fact that the original character is too thin or white, people will take it and twist it into their ideal or reasonable piece of art. The nice thing is, this is kind of a universally disliked thing in the artist world doesn't really happen often, but when it does, the artist in question gets an entire train of backlash. You'd think with all the people being torn up for doing such a thing, it'd be common knowledge not to do it unless you're expecting the backlash. This is where I introduce a little category I think a lot of people forget about, which is trolls. There are people out there who will fix art by making them skinnier, more attractive, and also white skinned, blue eyed, blonde haired, but it's clearly just made to make people mad. <laughs> It's obvious. With me, whether or not they are trolls, I tend to ignore them. I open up my little wall of attention and- Oh, oh sorry buddy, looks like I don't have any attention for you. <laughs> I don't like giving those kinds of people attention because that's exactly what they're trying to get. For instance, no one's drawing Nessa White out of the pure goodness of their hearts. Some people just like stirring stuff. The more attention you give, the more likely they're gonna keep on going. <laughs> that's where ye old Z Fixes Art comes in. They were a Twitter artist with the display name Xena hates fat phobia with the trans symbol and pride flag. Their bio read as follows. They, them, just a proud LGBTQ plus Muslim on a crusade. Fat and proud, five foot and a half inches, or sorry, five foot two and a half inches, which is about 158 centimeters for our non-American friends. 106 kilograms, which is about 234 pounds for our American friends. 22 non-binary Virgo gender fluid currently writing a pro-fat webcomic. Scrouts do not interact. So here's the thing. This already sounds super trolly to me. Like, this sounds like someone who is trying to be or trying to troll as an ally. Like, was writing it for the sake of being cringy and causing trouble. There's way too much personal information in that bio. And it's also kind of weird to me that they have their weight and height in one of women metric and the other one not. Actually, it's kind of weird that they have their height and weight in their bio in general. And so obnoxiously exact. Like, who is putting, I'm five foot two two and a half in their bio. I don't know. It could be real, but it's giving me signs of a possible troll. Without further ado, however, let's continue. So Z fixes art gimmick is exactly what you'd imagine it to be. They are fixing art. But what kind of art you say? Well, how about for starters, Uzaki. Remember a few months ago when people were all bent out of shape because Uzaki-chan and uh, her <laughs> proportions. So Uzaki-chan wants to hang out was a manga that came out in 2017 and later got an anime serialization got a little popular, and then in August 2020, Uzuki-chan came into public scrutiny because, again, her proportions. Artists took it upon themselves to redraw and quote-unquote fix Uzaki. It was an overall huge cringe fest, but our Z Fixes Art participated. My take on hashtag Uzaki redraw because my god, do cis men need to stop over 
overly sexualizing women already. It's so annoying, I roll. Requested by Eubu, except I can't tag them, so whoops. Here you will see the chest has been completely removed. They are made much larger. Feminine features have been removed. The skin has been made darker and body hair has been added with the line of stop sexualizing women. I'm not positive which of her art fixes came first, but more posts in that fashion would follow. Never really watched Love Live, but I've seen other people redesign some of the characters, so I want to do my own spin on Kotori. The fact that this is an iFunny screenshot is literally... <laughs> Tearing me a new butthole. I can't. But anyways, she has redrawn Kotori, again making her bigger and dark skinned. Legit, why is the My Hero Academia style so ugly, LMAO? Either way, fan art of Asai from My Hero Academia. Literally, why is the My Hero Academia style so ugly? Followed by an intentionally uglier art style is <laughs> taking me out. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm in space. I am not of this realm any longer. And don't worry, there's more. Again, darker skinned, larger body size like wide wise while being somehow shorter, and hairy arms. No chest. None whatsoever. So far we've been blessed with anime screenshot fixes, but now she is fixing other artist drunks too. That's when you know she's out there. Guns a blazing. At Ezra Webster, hope you don't mind, but I did some minor edits with your recent art. Please don't sexualize minors next time. <laughs> Oh boy, they've got slightly darker skin, but not by much, a larger body, and again, removal of the more obvious feminine features. <laughs> Nico Nico, no! <laughs> Fix Trish. This one is my personal favorite, TVH. Don't worry guys, Jojo isn't safe from Z either. Oh my god, it's Fix Jolene. And more. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm not, I'm not, oh man. Don't laugh, don't laugh, it's bad. <laughs> she wasn't uh, afraid to even go after Creepshow. Creepshow Arts drawings. At SM Creepshow here. And while I'm at it, I made a few critiques for your quote unquote art. The faces are very misshapen, one S, and your shading is hideous and <laughs> your internalized misogyny is showing, you roach, LMAO. Don't be afraid to draw fat women next time. The fact that art is in quotes, the faces are quote unquote very misshapen and the shading is hideous. I just <laughs> I need to be put on a ventilator. All right, all right. So I think we get it. I feel so bad, but I can't help but to laugh. Like these fixes are so visibly low effort and sloppy. There's just there's no way this is serious. I absolutely can't get over the fact that they are so quick to roast others' art and just <laughs> uh. <laughs> So here's the thing, I'm of the opinion that there's not inherently good or bad art. Art is a process. It's climbing up a ladder. It's not just flipping a switch. I think it's wrong and discouraging to other artists to say or even infer that art is either good or bad. What I will say, however, is her art's ugly. <laughs> That is definitely a matter of opinion, that's my own opinion, and doesn't mean that she is in the wrong necessarily with what she is doing art, -wise, art style wise. That is a subjective take. I will also say that the art looks particularly rushed and sloppy. Not only does this read as someone who is not very skilled, not particularly high up on their own art ladder yet, but the way Z draws looks like they don't value what they are drawing at all. I can't get inside their head and know for sure exactly what's going on, so I can't say this 100%, but this does not Reed is a legit artist passionate in what they are doing. This doesn't seem like someone who loves art, wants to improve, and are happy in what they are making. This comes across as someone who is just trying to whip these out for the sole sake of drama. The lazy strokes, misshapen anatomy, and scribbled on lines doesn't really come across to me as someone who is being 100% honest with what they're going on, doing, making when it comes to art. There's missing spots and shading that are easy to fix, overlapping lines again that are easy to fix, and there are things that are present either when somebody's a complete like full-on newbie or you're just doodling super super quickly. I don't know but it smells like a troll to me. Although I think that this person's a troll there's no way to actually know that for sure and unfortunately due to what I'm about to explain I don't really have a way to solidly back that theory up. So Z was hacked. The thing with the internet is when you swap the bee's nest you need to be ready to be stung. I don't necessarily condone that but that's the crappy part about the internet. You make the wrong people mad and they will retaliate and that they did whoever took over her account posted hentai of her and the entire account was deleted before I can even do this video sad thing is there's not much evidence to go off of now but as always it's time for a conversation my buttons there's two real things I'd like to say the first is 
Z is absolutely within their rights to draw what they have been drawing. Even if it's controversial and maybe even wrong in some ways, they can still post their art fixes to the internet. It's on us whether or not we choose to get upset by it. We can disagree, dislike, etc. But it's none of our business what some cringe fest on wheels wants to post online. And besides, I think their heart is in the right place. They just aren't executing it very well. And if they are not a troll and really are an artist who enjoys what they're doing, then I guess that's their lesson to learn. But things only have weight when we give it to them. That's the love-hate relationships I have with these videos, for instance. Because while I love to talk about things and inform you guys about these things, there's also the side of it that's like feeding into it. That's what you have to be aware of every time you talk about something or someone like this. You have to make the decision of whether or not it's worth giving them the attention if talking about what they're doing will produce some sort of result that you want. And let me say, not very often does the result you want end up being the thing that happens. Like, look at Jeffree Star, for instance. He's not going anywhere, and the more you talk about him, the more you solidify his place in things. So, even if Z's art kind of spits on dark skin people by associating masculinity and ugliness with dark skin, it's Z's place to do so. But it's also their place to be ready to accept backlash. I don't condone harassing or threatening Z, and do not do that, please. But of course, if they can post their art, then people who dislike it have their place to respond. But also consider it's just as easy to ignore it and let them do their own thing without giving them attention. Now I'm going to feed you buns exactly what you want to hear because I know you came here to hear me rant. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't know who needs to hear this, but drawings are fictional. Unreasonably large breasticles or unre <laughs> unreasonably non-existent breasticles does not matter. It is fictional. It has nothing to do with you. White skin, dark skin, hairy, stretch marks, curvy, linky, tall, short, furry. It doesn't matter. Every artist on planet Earth may draw whatever the heckaroni they like, and quite frankly, none of that is any of our business. The concept of quote-unquote fixing art that isn't your when you aren't asked is the most entitled bratty bullshit behavior. As far as I'm aware, nobody asked. A drawing existing typically isn't harming anyone and we need to stop acting like it is. Yes, there are sometimes bad anatomy and it's hilarious to point it out and redraw, especially for turbo virgin comic artists, but it's the implication of when you are fixing it as if it is wrong and has no place in the first place. And why? Because you, in your own personal opinion, feel that your wants and desires in an art piece is more important than the message or image the original artist was trying to portray. That is not our place to say. We don't have to like, reblog, purchase, print, or hang up anything that we don't like. And being so upset that you feel like you have to pick up the pen and fix it is the most immature, bratty baby behavior. It's different if you want to challenge yourself or practice, right? That's not so bad of a thing. Especially if it's not posted and you keep it to yourself for your own experimenting. And it's different to ask for something to be criticized, critiqued, or fixed. But Christ on a bicycle, when you feel the need to make it a point to say tee hee fixed it with your also subjectively maybe even ugly art, it's just... <laughs> now that's what's ugly. Uglier than the art you're fixing and uglier than the ugly art you think you fixed it with. Makes you look on the inside like a gross person. Makes me think uh it's less about the art and more about you being a dingleberry. <laughs> and like, I understand things in the media are, of course, sexualized and it happens, but as I always say, you vote with your dollar and your attention. If you are really so bent out of shape over how a character is too wide or has too big of a chest, then stop wasting your god for a second time on that and move on to a character you do like and support that character. They really, really could use it. Make fan art of characters that do portray what you like or are in art styles that you like, whatever. <laughs> Man, sometimes people get all heated about things that just should not matter. It's ridiculous. All avenues of this is something that should not have been a problem that was blown way out of proportion. Anyways, thank you buns for watching. Support the channel by heading over to patreon.com slash yukibuns for some occasional digital art tips and goodies. Etsy's still not open yet, but we're getting close, boys. So if you want cute goods, they're on the horizon. I'll put a little card with the link when I can. Then of course, we got social media. Follow me on there. I'd love to see you buns on there. And now it is time for art features. Here we go, boys. Get a load of these. Get a load of these. If you want your art featured, head over to our Discord server, which will be linked below. Give a comment on what you'd like to see me do next, and I'll try my dingly darnest. Until next time. Bye, everybody.